Hey on, this is Dan for the channel 24 here and guys today we're gonna be reading guys number 35 number 35 guys from the NIV version also known as the new international version if you guys want to go ahead and read along you guys can go ahead and go to babbygatereader.com or you or you guys can go ahead and go your bye bye I don't really care how you guys gonna do it but let's get started number 35 town for the Levites on the plains of Mo by the Jordan across from Jericho the Lord said to Moses command the Israelites to give the Levites Towns to live in from the inheritance the Israelites will possess, and give them pasture lands around the towns, then they will have towns to live in and pasture land for the cattle they own, and all their <coughs> other animals. The pasture lands around the towns that you give the Levites will extend a thousand cubits from the town wall. Outside the town, measure two thousand cubits on the east side, two thousand on the south side, two thousand on the west, and two thousand on the north. With the town in the center, they will have this area as pasture land for the towns, cities of refuge. Six of the towns you give the Levites will be cities of refuge, to which a person who has killed someone may flee. In addition, give them 42 other towns, and all you must give the Levites 48 towns together with their pasture lands. The towns you give the Levites are from the land the Israelites possess, are to be given in proportion to the inheritance of each tribe. Take many towns from a tribe. That is many, but few from one that is few. Then the Lord, then the Lord said to Moses, speak to the Israelites and say to them, When you cross the Jordan to Canaan, select some towns to be your cities of refuge, to which a person who has killed someone accidentally may flee. There will be places of refuge from the avengers, so that anyone accused of murder may not die before they stand trial before the assembly. These, these six towns you will give will be your cities of refuge. Give three on this side of the Jordan and three in Canaan as cities of refuge. These six towns will be a place of refuge for Israelites and for foreigners residing among them, so that anyone who has killed another accidentally may flee, can flee there. If anyone strikes at someone a fatal blow with an iron object, that person is a murderer, and murderer is to be put to death. Or if anyone is holding a stone and strikes someone a fatal blow with it, that person is a murderer, the murderer is to be put to death. Or if anyone is holding a wooden object and strikes someone a fatal blow with it, that person is a murderer, the murderer is to be put to death. The avenger of blood shall put the murderer to death. When the avenger comes upon the murderer, the avenger shall put the murderer to death. If anyone with mal malice, a forethought, shoves another or throws something at them intentionally so that they die, or if out of enmity, one person hits another with their fist so that the other dies, that person is to be put to death. That person is a murderer. The avenger of blood shall put the murderer to death when they meet. And you know, guys, before I continue, I want to go ahead and say that. I'm sorry if I mispronounced any words, guys. Just know that, I guess, plainly, I'm not really an expert either. But anyway, let's continue on. But if without enmity, someone suddenly pushes or throws something at them unintentionally or, or without seeing them, drops on them a stone, heavy enough to kill them and they die, then since the other person was not an enemy and no harm was intended, the assembly must judge between the accused and the avenger of blood according to these regulations. The assembly must protect the one accused of murder from the avenger of blood and send the accused back to the city of refuge to which they fled. The accused must stay there until the death of the high priest, who is anointed with the holy oil. But if the accused ever goes outside the limits of the city of refuge to which they fled, and the avenger of blood finds them outside the city, the avenger of blood may kill the accused without being guilty of murder. The accused must stay in the city of refuge until the death of the high priest. Only after the death of the high priest may they return to their own property. This is to have the force of law for you. Throughout the generations to come, wherever you live, anyone who kills a person is to be put to death as a murderer only on the testimony of witnesses. But no one is to be put to death on the testimony of only one witness. Do not accept the ransom for the life of a murderer who deserves to die there to be put to death. Do not accept the ransom for anyone who has fled to a city of refuge and so allow them to go back and live on their own land before the death of the high priest. Do not pollute the land where you are. Bloodshed pollutes the land, and atonement cannot be made for the land on which blood has been shed, except by the blood of the one who shed it. Do not defile the Lord where you live, and I will dwell, for I, the Lord, dwell among the Israelites. <clears throat> okay, guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to click the like button, and make sure to click the bell to be not for one of our posts. And you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed, and, get, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.